guys, it's Leela. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm super excited for today's video. Also, don't mind my nails. I know that they're really, really bad. I'm getting them done, but um, I really wanted to film this video for you guys. I'm super excited. I finally got all my stuff. Um, I went to the Nordstrom anniversary sale and I got so much stuff like I cannot even tell you like I bought so much I'm so excited because fall is like my favorite season so um if you guys don't know what the anniversary sale is Nordstrom puts out it's like a one-of-a-kind sale and it's only during the summer it's once a year and what they do is they release all of the fall stuff early for all of their customers to shop so they get a first look at everything that's to come for the next season at super discounted prices like I'm not even kidding like super discounted prices and then once the sale is over all of this stuff is actually gonna go back up to regular price so it's only a limited time i usually use this time of the year to restock on basics um lingerie bras panties shapewear like leggings jeans uh shoes shoes i went super crazy like i have a whole stack right there like i wait, can't wait to show you guys like i went super crazy it's a really really good time of the year to take care of all of those things get yourself prepped for the rest of the year so if you wanted to go shop i would get to it so I'm going to show you guys all the stuff that I bought and then I will show you guys stuff that I'm still waiting to arrive. And then there are some things that I had already kind of ordered or had already purchased previously that um, I did see were on the sale that I think you guys should probably pick up. But I didn't end up purchasing them because I already have them. But um, yeah, if you guys want to see all of the things I bought at the Nordstrom anniversary sale, then just keep on watching. Let me go into this bag. I'm just going to start pulling random stuff out. So the first thing I bought was this super cute Topshop cardigan. It's super boxy. I ended up getting a size small, which is a US 4 to 6, just because it did run really big. I did try it on the medium and it was like, I swam in it. Um, but it's super cute. It's really, really soft. And I actually really like the fact that it doesn't um, lay really funky. Like it lays really nicely. It doesn't make me look boxier. Um, it actually gives me a shape. And I just love that it's so cozy, especially for like the fall time. And I don't have all the prices like offhand, but I will put a little box with the prices, um, the original and the discounted price. Um, but I was super excited to get this. This is like the first thing I like caught my eye that I really, really wanted to get. I did also buy it in this hand color. Yeah, I bought it in this like oatmeal color. Super, super cute. I really like this color. The next thing I bought were these Good American jeans. So I do have the Good Legs in black and I really, really liked them. So I did get this dark wash. Um, I think it's really, really nice. I just like the color. Like the color is really um, dark. I don't really like a super light blue jean. And if you guys haven't worn Good American before, they're actually really nice, especially like I'm very curvy, especially in my hip area. So these are really, really stretchy and generous. The next thing I bought were these Nordstrom leggings. So they're a grid print and they're really stretchy, like super stretchy. I got these in a medium, um, just cause they run a little bit generous, but they're super cute. I actually had a pair of pants this color. Um, or this print and I outgrew them like I lost weight and they were too big on me so I had to throw them away but I'm really happy I got to pick up another pair of them or something really similar to them and then the next thing I bought this one I was so excited for so this is from the brand Aster if you guys have never worn Aster go to Nordstrom and try some of their stuff on I love their stuff so this is a leopard print burnout velvet bodysuit so I don't know if you guys can see the print, but it's so cute. I love it. And it's long sleeve. It's like perfect for going out. And that deep neckline is so cute. It also has like little shoulder pads in here. So it just gives you like a little bit of that extra like edge. Um, I have a dress from Aster that has shoulder pads in it and they're not overwhelming, which is nice. Um, but yeah, I thought this was so cute. And this is a thong if you guys are curious. So it is not like a full butt one, which is really nice because sometimes full but bodysuits get a little weird and then i also bought these oh this is um a dress by leith so if you guys have shopped at nordstrom before leith did have this dress um it's like their jersey knit um ruched dress and they have it like all the time and it's super cute I have um, the long sleeve and the short sleeve version but this was supposed to be like their new twist on it so it does have a um, 
a seam right here to cut out your waist and then the ruching starts at the bottom and then it's like um like spliced right here so you do have like that little like layering um but this is super cute and it's like that nice like bouncy like knit material i just like i really really like this dress i did buy these joggers from bp these are like a viscosey like linen-y material um but these are super super cute and i really liked like the fact that they're tapered at the bottom because um i'm four foot eleven and everything is like super super long on me so that was really nice um and then i did get these in a large just so that they're a little bit roomier um and they do have pockets which is really nice the last two items that aren't shoes that I bought um, is this Tory Burch wallet. Look at this. Isn't this so cute? I, like, am in love. Like, I needed a new wallet, and I am so happy I picked this up because I don't know if, I don't know about you guys, but I can't stand when my wallet doesn't open. Like, it has to open like this, and if it doesn't, it drives me insane. Like, insane. But it has so many card slots. It's literally just like the wallet I have right now. But my wallet is actually falling apart. So I needed a new one. But, oh gosh, I'm like taking all this stuff out. Because I already know I'm going to like put all my new stuff in here. But like, it's so cute. And the pink is, you know, guys, pink is like my color. This is so cute. And it has a little wristlet on it. It's just perfect. So cute. I love it. And the little Tory Burch logo. Yeah, it'll be a little bougie. It's like my big purchase. I guess. <laughs> and then the last thing I got was this beauty blender set. Um, so it comes with two beauty blenders and a little travel case. Um, and it's supposed to be like a protective case. Oh, and it, I guess it comes with a, a solid, a wash solid in there. <gasps> cool. I didn't know that. I thought it was just the three pieces. Well, it comes with a sample of their wash too for their sponges, which I absolutely like live by. I love their, their soap for their sponges. So this was 35. I know that for a fact because I was literally in need of beauty blenders. So they're usually 20 each depending on which one you buy. Um, so usually if they come in a pack of two, it'll still be $40 with like a soap or like something else. But these, this was 35 for both of them, which is such a good deal because you get two for 35 plus a little travel case. So I was super, super excited and I really like the color. I love this like green one, it's so cute. So I was super excited to get this, especially because it was on a deal. Now, Onto my favorite part. I'm so excited, guys. I bought so many boots. So many black booties. I can't even tell you. Bring my mountainous stack of boots over here. So, I don't know about you guys, but last year, last year I literally could not find a good pair of black boots. I don't know if it was just me or if everybody couldn't, but like it had, like the style last year was all of that like curved back of the boot like kind of like that cowboy look um or the western look i hated it even the way it felt when i walked i felt like i was gonna slide out on my like on the back of my heel like every time i would try those on i just like really didn't like it and then if i did find a pair of black boots that i liked they had a brown or tan sole and i just wanted black like plain black and i couldn't find them if they were nice they were way too high for me to wear especially like going to work and stuff so the fact that they had like a million pairs i was like i i think i just like was traumatized about the fact that i didn't have any black boots last year that i like literally went crazy and bought like every single pair <laughs> that there was um and i figured i would just like try them and see like what i liked but i ended up liking so many of them so i'm gonna show you guys what i bought so the first pair i have to show you is this pair of blondo boots so if you guys don't know blondo actually makes all of their boots waterproof which i absolutely live for because that way the leather doesn't stain with the rain and also um they make suede waterproof which i like live for so i love the fact because look how clean this looks Oh, I love it. Usually I don't do a pointy boot, but these are so cute. I had to. So this is one pair. I wear a size six, five and a half, six in women's. Usually with leather boots, I do have to do a six and just let them stretch. But these are so cute. I love them. They're like one of my favorite purchases. I did buy this other pair of Blondo boots. 
These ones are suede. Perfect for fall, guys. I literally, like, I cannot believe I found so many. These are more like a Chelsea boot. They're not as high, um, but they're so cute. And I love that they're suede. And they're not going to get trashed in the rain. I love it. Like, um, which is super cool. Like, I love Blondo just for that. Usually, Blondo boots, guys, run anywhere between $160 to $250 a pair. These were $99. $99. $99, $200 boots, $150, $150 boots for $99. You will not find this anywhere else. The other pair of boots I got, these ones are Steve Madden. These ones are more like fashion, but they're so cute. Uh, look at this. Ugh, dying. These are so cute. And the heel's not that high either, so they're really cute for like work wearing them around i absolutely am obsessed with these i think they're so cute i love the studs ah oh, i love them i'm so excited for having boots guys like you don't understand i had no black booties last year i had one pair i trashed them i trashed them because i wore them so much i wear black boots all the time and i trashed the pair i had like that was it i literally like ruined it okay and then you guys are really gonna laugh at me so i have the world's tiniest feet i have like midget feet so i i bought a pair of steve madden boots from the kids department as well these are 30 dollars, like 35 dollars, something like that and i was like uh give it to me like if i could get a pair of kids boots for that cheap like i'll take it i actually do buy a lot of like my adidas and like stuff like that like some like steve madden sandals i buy them in the kids department when they come out with a really good staple basic like this like i have to pick it up like this is so cute and for the price you cannot beat it so this is another really cute suede boot that i bought now onto shoes that aren't boots <laughs> i bought these bp heels let me show you guys so cute they're like little mule shoes look ah aren't these so cute and they have a little peep toe i'm so excited for these these are super cute to like throw on with jeans or like a skirt like just to have something a little bit dressier i think these are so cute i'm like obsessed and then i did buy these sneakers but i'm so dumb and i bought them twice on accident i like didn't even realize i thought i didn't get the white ones i thought I, I thought i left them behind like i thought i was like oh my god like i decided against them and i need to go back and get them and i bought them twice but look at these white sneakers from steve madden aren't these so cute these i feel like look like the fila sneakers and i tried the fila sneakers on and i hated them like so much like these are so cute i am like obsessed i bought them also in the tan i love this color look at these <gasps> so cute i'm so obsessed with all the shoes i bought guys like i don't know how i'm supposed i was supposed to try them on and like keep like a few pairs i don't know i'm probably gonna end up keeping all of them these are so cute like i love this color yes i'm so happy i found like so much good stuff at the sale like honestly i feel like i never find cute stuff at like sales okay and then the only thing that they ran out of that i was really really hoping to get but i actually ordered it so it's coming soon um there's these like two mac um like lipstick like lip kits so they come with a mini version of their little bullet lipsticks and two lip glosses like one had one was like very neutral and had like one the one of the glosses had like gold shimmer and the other one was more pinky and i had like a pink glittery lip gloss and i need i need to have it like it's so cute like i really really want it so hopefully i'm gonna get those but they're only 20 bucks guys you get the lipstick and two lip glosses for 20 dollars and i got two of them and i had a nordstrom note and it was four dollars so i didn't even pay for it it's amazing Guys, Nordstrom is like the best place to shop. I'm not even kidding. Soon. And then a couple of things that um, are on the sale that I didn't buy just because I already have a really good stock of it. Um, so Spanx leggings. If you do not have a pair of Spanx faux leather leggings in your closet, you need to go to Nordstrom right now and buy them. They are $68 that are usually $98. And I'm telling you this because they are so cute they are coated leather leggings that have shapewear in them so they're actually gonna suck in like your lower tummy plus throughout your legs so that you don't see any like lumps or bumps or dimples or anything that you would usually see in like a really thin pair of leggings 
they are skin tight they are so classy you can dress them up you can dress them down you can make them grungy you can make them classy like they're so versatile but I absolutely love them the only reason I didn't purchase them is because I have six pairs already of different <laughs> patterns and colors so yeah faux leather leggings from Spanx are such a must-have they also did put some shapewear on sale this year but I have literally like so many Spanx shapewear pieces I didn't really need to buy a new one but they do have a couple on there which are really really good um, investment and then the last thing I would probably recommend buying are these true and co bralettes I'm actually wearing one right now let me like put the girls away <laughs> but this is what it looks like it's just like very very seamless it has some cups in it gives you a little bit of shape but they're so stretchy and so comfortable i actually use this a lot as like um <laughs> it's like a like a bralette like top like it's like it kind of goes down to here so it's pretty long but i could wear it as like a little top but these are so 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 comfortable and they did have like a racer back version too so if you guys hate wearing bras, this is such a good alternative because it still gives you some support. And I'm sure that there's other things like throughout the store. Like I kind of like, I usually use this time to talk about like mostly intimates and like shoes. So um, other clothing departments have like tons of stuff. Like there are so many jeans on sale. Um, there are so many like men's and fragrance and there's other makeup. Like there is so much on the sale. You guys have to shop it. And like I said, if you guys do shop until the 4th, everything is on sale. And then after the 4th, all of this stuff is going to go back up to regular price. So don't wait. Don't hesitate. Just go and get it. You won't regret it. Uh, but yeah, that's it for my haul, guys. I bought so much stuff. But I love all of it. And I'm so excited to start wearing. I just I need it to be fall already. Like, I'm ready for the fall. <laughs> But thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, please leave a like on the video. Subscribe to my channel. Hit the little bell. You'll get a notification every time I post a new video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.